Hello, my name is Christopher Sands. I'm a senior fellow at the Hudson Institute. And I'm here today with a few remarks about the Afghanistan strategy and its implications for the Allies. President Obama this week announced a new Afghanistan strategy responding to the request of his, his general in the field, General Stanley McChrystal, for 40,000 additional troops. In the end, after a lot of de deliberation, President Obama agreed to send 30,000 troops to be supplemented by as many as possible Allied troops. Ideally, 10,000 was requested, but Anders Fogh Rasmussen, the former Danish uh, Prime Minister who is currently the head of NATO, said that 7,000 was possible, confident that among 25 countries in NATO, it would be possible to get that many additional troops uh, in order to support the American mission following the recommitment of the United States under President Obama to an aggressive counterinsurgency strategy. There are some questions, however, as to whether that grouping will actually come together. Britain has agreed to send an additional 500 troops. Italy, Poland, Slovakia, and Georgia, a non-NATO member, have also agreed to send troops. But beyond that, the numbers become more fuzzy. It's hard to see how we would get to that number without serious commitments from Germany and possibly France. Germany, which has 4,500 troops committed at the present time away from combat, but nonetheless part of the mission, part of the 40,000 non-American NATO uh, troops in the field at this time, uh, Germany has agreed to reinstate the 4,500, but, but Angela Merkel, German's, Germany's chancellor, has said that she will wait until January 28th when there will be a uh, allies meeting to talk about the future of Afghanistan, in particular Afghanistan aid and development. Uh, and at that point, and only at that point, will she agree to consider additional troops. Her own public is very skeptical and weary of the war, and she knows she's going to need to make the case for the importance of this mission to Germans themselves. And so there's no guarantee that Germany can provide the troops. While at the same time, France, uh, under Nicolas Sarkozy, has been very clear that they have no intention of adding any additional troops at this time. This may mean that NATO falls far short. And in fact, U.S. NATO Ambassador Ivo Dalder has tried to lower expectations by talking in terms of perhaps just 5,000 additional troops. These additional troops are supplemental to the American commitment of an additional 30,000. However, they're also very important uh, for the United States. While the U.S. will be doing much of the heavy lifting uh, fighting against al-Qaeda and the Taliban, we are nonetheless required uh, requiring our allies to help shore up the uh, Afghan government and in particular help train the Afghan army. The real secret to President Obama's strategy is a strengthening of the Afghans' own capability to not only combat the Taliban but also provide domestic security, space in which uh, it will be difficult if not impossible for al-Qaeda to reconstitute itself. This is where the allies play a crucial role and this is one reason why that number, 7,000, 5,000, or possibly less, could determine the future success of the United States strategy and Obama's announcement this week of a new push in Afghanistan. My name is Christopher Sands with the Hudson Institute. Thank you.